One of the biggest reasons you actually have lag and your frames keep stuttering is because of one reason and that is because of your services. They're constantly running on in your background causing strain in your CPU and GPU. And in this video boys I'll be showing you which services to disable and the ones that are completely useless for your PC and once we disable them your PC will be running so so smoothly at the maximum performance. All I want in return boys is you can quickly leave a sub and leave a comment on how you enjoy this video and how it helped you. I'll appreciate that so so much but let's get straight into it okay so the first thing i want to show you is how much strain is on your cpu so to do this be on your desktop right here right click on the bottom onto task manager whilst you're on here go on to performance cpu right here obviously it's your cpu my cpu is the ryzen 7 5800x 3d a very very good cpu by the way but one thing we're looking for processors 155 boys the higher the processors the worse your pc will run the one you're aiming for is around 100 110 maybe 90 that's the perfect sweet swap and in this video I'll get you around to 90 to 110 processors. I'll even restart at the end of this video when I do my tweaks and we'll be around then. Just stay tuned till the very end because I get more and more advanced as most of you know in my YouTube videos. Okay now boys, to disable the services that we don't need that are constantly running on the background causing your processors to be so high is what you need to do. Head over to services and these are all the ones that are on your PC right here. Now to know which ones to disable, of course I'll work you through it through this video but to make it so much simpler for you guys, make it 10 times faster, head over over to my discord in the description of my video i'll leave a link obviously i'm not trying to sell you anything there's literally nothing right here on the announcements page right here 24 services that were mentioned for disabling to improve performance these are all the services i'll be going through through this video so if you want to speed it all up and literally if you ever need any help on your pc just go into general just type wherever you want of course i'll get back to you guys and we have almost a thousand members in here so you're not going to be the only one make sure you do join this down below as it's so so good but back onto the services that we want to disable once you're on this page what you want to do is head on to open services the hyperlink right here click onto this of course it will take a second now this will pop up this is how we're going to be disabling our services okay now boys for the best part of this video what service to actually disable once we're on here the first one we want to look for assigned access manager service once it is here it's going to say running for most of you right click onto it click onto properties now remember this if service that is running make sure to always stop it first stop it a bar will appear it'll take two seconds startup type then click onto the disable click on apply and okay obviously if it's on manual you don't have to do the stop and start stuff startup type disabled now we know that for all the services i'll quickly go through it and just remember boys i'm not going to be talking through it all that will literally the video will be about half an hour long if i talk it all through and obviously if you want me to i will the second one we're looking for bitlocker drive encryption click onto this properties disable apply and okay second one right you guys need to listen to this one bluetooth support services now you might be thinking Jinchi, you don't have that one disabled of course not i use a bluetooth service my mouse is bluetooth if none of you guys are using bluetooth literally go onto it properties manual to click disable it now if you're using bluetooth obviously do not do this just like me i use bluetooth don't do that second one we're looking for is connected user experiences and telemetry same as before everyone can disable these ones if it if there's one which is 50 50 of course i'll tell you guys disable and okay second one diagnostic execution service of course it will take a second to look for here it is diagnostic execution service make sure to disable this one and now what other ones you need to do is diagnostic policy diagnostic service diagnostic system host make sure you're disabling those as well now the next one we're looking for geolocation service which is right here basically telling you where telling your microsoft where you are on all times properties disable apply and okay next one is net logon so we're going to look for that now right here net logon make sure same as before properties disable it apply it and okay parental control for the next one obviously if you have parental controls on your pc do not do this one but for most of us watching we're just trying to play four at the maximum frames parental controls make sure properties disable that as well next one print spooler for me I don't use a printer now I'm gonna have to tell you about this one guys if you're using a printer from your PC I don't on this specific one I can go on properties and disable it this is basically looking for all the printers near you obviously if you want to print stuff with your PC do not do this one and laptop if you guys have it as well so the next one we're looking for is going to be fax obviously fax is pretty much the old printer if most of you guys don't know head over to it properties disable it I actually I'm not even joking I think most of you should be able to disable this as no one is using fax anymore next one remote desktop configuration head down and it is right here remote desktop configuration properties and obviously disable this one now for the next one we're going to go to the w1 
and what we're looking for is Windows Biometric Service. So where is it? Right here. Windows Biometric Service, right here. It's disabled, obviously I have it disabled. Most of you should have this one disabled as well. Windows Error Reporting, right here. Disable this one as well. Windows Error Reporting Service, make sure that's disabled. Work Folder Service, which is right here, work folders, make sure that one's disabled. And of course, most importantly, Xbox, all of these have to be disabled, unless obviously you're using Xbox the clip or going onto Xbox party chat with your Xbox friends. But I recommend all of you guys to make sure these Xbox ones are 100% disabled. Next one you need to do, Windows Mobile Hotspot. If any of you guys are playing on Hotspot, by the way, make sure you don't do this, but Windows Mobile Hotspot, make sure that is off. But if you're playing with Hotspot, obviously leave this on. This just basically means your PC will no longer be able to scan for hotspot services. Last one, and the last one we're going to be looking for is of course SysMain. Make sure you go into properties, disable this one as well. Of course this was all on my Discord server and I have 10 times more amount of tweaks than this. Make sure you do all of the ones that I did say in this video and of course do remember if some of them you're not sure about, if some of them you don't know you use, make sure you don't disable that. Once you do do this, you can cancel all of that. That is 24 services by the way, just like that. Some other tweaks for this video to make sure these processes do actually come lower is First of all, whilst we're on our task manager, head over to your startup, make sure every single app here is status disabled. If you guys don't know what the startup app is, obviously, right when you literally turn your PC on, these apps will turn on. So imagine every single one here was on Riot, Client, Teams, Google Chrome, Epic Games Launcher, all on in the background without you even knowing. This literally causes your processes to be 220, 230. It is crazy. By the way, boys, make sure you restart your PC after every single tweak and let me know in the comments what we start with your processes and how much you end with as I'm genuinely curious how much it can go down now the other tweak you guys want to do is head over to your search bar search background background apps will appear it literally says it right here let apps run in the background you wouldn't want this in any situation I'm not gonna lie imagine all of these apps running on the background when you're in the end game of Fortnite you already have low frames and all of this Asus is on co-pilots on game bars on just turn this off it is 10 times simpler one other thing whilst you're on here head over to the setting this time search game game mode will pop up right here game mode when game mode is on windows optimizes your pc for play this in most situations is for decent pcs so if you have a ryzen 3 or a ryzen 5 in my opinion and many many of the other pc tweakers you should have game mode off if you have a ryzen 7 or a ryzen 9 keep this on it is quite important you do listen to me right here i'm not gonna lie there has been so many tests done on this if you're not sure whether to turn it off or on i can give you the exact one if you literally join my discord at me in general say jinji i have this processor this gpu do i have game mode on or off it is literally that simple game bar as well of course most of you guys already know this make sure this is off instead of game bar if you want to clip stuff using video geforce experience the input delay is so so much less captures as well make sure this is off once you've done this boys make sure to restart your pc and now once you do restart remember one thing you need to do is to leave a like and subscribe the second thing go in the comments remember comment how much process you started with and how much you ended let's see who can go to the lowest processes boys i hope you enjoyed please do leave a like and subscribe i'll bring more videos out further on this week